Okay, uh, let's start. Uh, hey everybody, it's a pleasure to be here uh, after the invitation of ODS organizers uh, to give a speech uh, about this competition. Uh, my name is Abel Valiulin, as was mentioned before, and today I will share my experience and knowledge about Kaggle competition on autonomous driving organized by Peking University and Baidu company. Uh, the competition ended a little bit more than a month ago, and I will and I took a silver medal on it. Uh, and let's make some interaction. Uh, please raise your hands who participated in this competition. Okay, uh, not so many hands. And sure that this talk will be useful and give some new knowledge for you. Uh, this is my Kaggle profile, and there is an overview of the content of my talk. Uh, first of all, I will get a quick overview of Baidu Apple project and autonomous driving, and then general information about this competition. Then we will look at the data set and uh, talk about solution and look on the other solutions of other teams and uh, high scored approaches. Okay, uh, Baidu is a China's multinational technology company uh, specializing in internet-related services and products and artificial intelligence. The Baidu search engine is currently the fourth largest website in the Alexa internet rankings. And in 2017, Baidu announced the launch of Apollo project. It's the project about self-driving vehicle platform uh, to help uh, drive uh, the development of autonomous cars. Okay, uh, first, before diving into the competition, let's break down the different levels of autonomous vehicles. There are six levels of autonomy in the classification system, ranging from, from level zero to level five. Uh, you can see some description of each level. Uh, level three is available now. Uh, Computer handles two or more simultaneous driving functions, such as crisis control and lane keeping. Uh, and the current state publicly available. Hope the, uh, with this machine learning and AI, we could get faster level four and level five. <clears throat> and one of the problems of autonomous driving uh, was given at this Kaggle competition. Okay, let's dive into the data set. Um, uh, uh, the dataset was given by organizers. It contains photos of streets taken from the roof of a car. And in the train uh, set was more than 4,000 images uh, with post information. Uh, and the post information is formatted as strings. It's model type, your, pitch, roll, x, y, z. And uh, 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 interesting moment is that it's always the same car and the same camera. And you are asked to detect other cars on that image. That can be many cars or you need to predict their positions. Uh, and in the test data set uh, were more than 2000 images uh, from the same car and the same camera. Also we're given car models. It's uh, 3D models of cars in JSON format. And I will talk a little bit later about this uh, 3D uh, car models. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, uh, you could see on the left side the original image, and on the other, on the right side. Uh, the image with added post information. And there is, you can see on the second one, is some person uh, crossing the road. And sorry for the bad uh, images. And if you look closer to the person, you'll see that there is some noise on the face of this person. Uh, and on the right side, you could see the post information of these images. Okay, uh, let's look on the data distributions. Uh, 
uh, you could see six uh, uh, values. It's X, Y, Z, your pitch and roll of uh, each car. And interesting that X uh, has two signs. It's minus and plus. Minus is the left side of the camera. Uh, plus is the right side of the camera. Uh, and in train uh, set, we have 4,262 uh, 4, images and nearly uh, 50,000 of cars. And there is distribution of cars per image. <clears throat> and the minimum is one car on image and the maximum is 45, 44 cars on image. Let's look at these images. Uh, on the left side is image with one car, uh, on the right side is the image with 44 cars. <coughs> also, they were given uh, 3D images of cars, its car models, and uh, they were available for downloaded as pickle files, and they can be compared against cars in images, used as reference for rotation, etc. And was given 3D models of uh, uh, 79 cars. And you should build the distribution of models on trained data. It's on the left side. And interesting that we are not required to predict the car model of the vehicle. It's like additional information on the images. Uh, you could see the visualization of one of the car models, it's Audi Q7 model, and on the right side is the visualization of its 3D model. Uh, by using these car models, we could augment an image by adding a 3D uh, wireframe overlay of cars. And this simple augmentation on the right side uh, gives the image a great futuristic look. Yeah, it feels like we can see through the black car on the left uh, and look all the details of cars. <clears throat> okay, uh, also there were some problems with data. For example, first problem with uh, trained data set with, with broken images. Uh, if you think the image will download it later, it will not. Yeah, it's a broken image of data set. And uh, some images were broken, like shown below. and uh, I found this by visual inspection and uh, these images were deleted from train set before training. Also, other problem was connected with the uh, points that were outside of image. As you can see, one point on this image is outside. Also, there were problems in test data uh, connected with duplicates. Um, <clears throat> uh, on this slide, you could see one of the examples with three duplicate images. There is one, some uh, contrast modification on them, and these similarities were detected by image Adapt tool. Uh, this package provides functionality to make use of hashing algorithms that are particularly good at finding exact duplicates, as well as convolution neural networks, which are also adept at finding near duplicates. Uh, also, there is different types of algorithms to find duplicates. It's like CNN, perceptual hashing, difference hashing, and others. Okay, uh, the task was to predict, uh, to give a prediction string for our test images. Test images uh, were more than 2,000 images, and you need to predict uh, seven values. It's your pitch roll and X, Y, Z, and confidence level of each prediction. <clears throat> uh, and the detection task is not just on two coordinate, uh, but 3D world can coordinates, because you need to predict the depth estimation of a car on the image, on the 2D image. Uh, okay, uh, the metric was mean average precision uh, uh, between uh, the predicted pose information and the correct partition and rotation. Organizers shared C-sharp code of uh, uh, this evaluation. Uh, first part is for your pitch and roll, and the second part is for X, Y, Z uh, distances. Uh, and when uh, we then take the resulting distances between all pairs of objects, uh, for both 
translation uh, of all pairs of objects and determine which predicted objects are close to solution objects and apply thresholds for both translation and rotation. And confidence scores are used to sort submission objects and units for rotation are radians and translation is matters. If both of the distance between prediction and solution uh, are less than the threshold, then we count as true positive prediction. If not the predicted object is counted as a false positive for that threshold. And finally, map is calculated using this true positive and false positive determinations across all thresholds. And thresholds are presented on this slide. <coughs> uh, and also the public leaderboard was calculated uh, with approximately 5% of all, all test data and uh, all of people were waiting some uh, shaking after the private leaderboard. Uh, okay, uh, and metric is really very important in every competition because you need to know what to optimize. And there were lots of questions to organizers and Kaggle team about evaluation metrics. And organizers give more detailed information about metrics and updated leaderboard. Uh, and something happens in the start of the competition. Approximately in one month after competition started, organizers updated leaderboard with new evaluation metric. And the previous one did not calculate correctly false negatives. Okay, let's talk about the solution. Uh, uh, lots of solutions were based on central center net architecture of neural network and my solution was based on this architecture too and the key principle of this approach is that model an object as a single point uh, the center point of all bounding boxes it's not difficult because if we have bounding box we could uh, calculate the center of this bounding box and use it for prediction and detector uses k-point estimation to find center points and regresses to all other objects' properties, such as size, free delocation, orientation, and even pose. A link to the paper is provided on this slide. You could find some more information about that. And also interesting, you could uh, make some interesting pose estimations about this um, uh, cyclist. Okay, um, there is the architecture of my uh, network that was based on center net with efficient net B3 backbone. Yeah, there were three heads. It's head for k-import detection, head for rotation, and head for depth distance regression. What was the training recipe? Uh, I used images with this width and height and optimizer was Adam weighted with learning rate presented on slide. Uh, learning rate scheduler was reduce learning rate on plateau. I did not use uh, cross-validation. I took 80% uh, training data and 20% for validation. Bed size was four. It was nearly about uh, 50 epochs and threshold for confidence was 1.2. Also, uh, different augmentations were useful because we have only 4,000 images uh, and I used these uh, augmentations from augmentations library. Uh, and Vladimir Glokov is presented on this slide. It's one of the authors of this library. And I used random contrast. It's changed contrast randomly of the input image. Uh, also add some random gamma correction uh, randomly resize the input images uh, and some uh, brightness randomly was added. Uh, also apply Gaussian noise to the input image and uh, apply some uh, horizontal flips to the images. Okay, uh, what boosters uh, we could use for hiring our accuracy? First of all, after reading other competitors' solutions, there were uh, some ideas about ensembling, yeah, because lots of teams use this approach. 
also approving predictions of large cars because there was a difference between uh, small cars and large cars. And by using some post-processing of, of your predictions, you could hire your score. And you could use different backbones uh, for making differences in your model. And also, uh, at I, as I mentioned, uh, at, as I will mention later, uh, camera rotation uh, will be very useful in this competition. Okay, let's talk about uh, winner solutions. Uh, there is presented first place solution. It was based on Keras implementation of CenterNet. Yeah, the architecture is presented on the slide. And he, also he used perspective transform. Uh, he reduced the size gap between small and large cars and cover more outliers without extending image. And he found that the model don't predict well on the large cars. And when he increased the input size, uh, like present like is shown on the image, <clears throat> and he makes them smaller. And the extra benefit uh, was added. And also he used a lot of camera rotations. And this, this is very important augmentation technique in, uh, in this competition. And this augmentation technique uh, was shared by this uh, winning solution. Okay, uh, this presented the second place solution. It was built on MM detection framework and with some additional techniques. Uh, this team was a team of five. Uh, they use additional data. They added a Poloscape dataset that uh, had more than uh, 6,000 additional images. Also, they used uh, special post-processing. They predict Z as the Oracle prediction and amend the value of X and Y prediction. And because it was a big team, they used uh, model ensembling and their final solution was based on six models ensembling. Okay, this is, I think that's all. Uh, if you have some questions, I will be ready to answer them. And there is my contact uh, on this slide. Yeah, thanks, Adel. Uh, if, you have, uh, if you have questions, you can ask it uh, in English and in Russian. Your choice. Здравствуйте. Спасибо большое за доклад. Очень интересно. Вот мне интересно, а Яндекс вот эти международные вещи отслеживает. Поступал ли вам предложение от них? Окей. Яндекс did not uh, connected with me. Yes. Uh, but I had an offer, I think, two years ago from Yandex. But it was not connected with uh, autonomous driving. Спасибо. <laughs> But I think Yandex company is one of the leaders uh, on the world in developing this autonomous uh, uh, driving cars. And I think uh, they're making good solutions for the world in this area. Uh, another question, why did you choose uh, exactly this competition? Because it has a, it has a problem with uh, metric. Uh, it is a <coughs> very popular firm as autonomous <coughs> driving. So. Okay, uh, I connected to this competition, I think, uh, on the uh, last days, I think two or three weeks, yes. And I knew about these problems when I was prepared for this speech. And I think it was an uh, optimistic way to apply to this competition in the last stage when all of the problems are shared and uh, solved. And you, when you are solving this competition, uh, you will not uh, uh, you will not uh, face with these problems because you connected on the last stage. Thanks, Adele. Thank you.